What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the super cool and simple uh, concealment coat hanger slash welcome slime slash hat hanger. Well, let's get started. All right, so first up, I'm going to get my two by fours cut. Uh, so I'll just be using some scrap pieces that I have. So I'll be cutting these two at 12 and a half inches. And then I have another scrap piece that I'll be cutting at 21 and a half. All right, so next up, I got this six foot one by eight, and I'm gonna cut one piece at 21 and three eighths, another piece at 21 and a half, and the last piece at 25 and three quarter. All right, so next up, I got this eight foot one by two, and I'm gonna cut two pieces at five and three quarter, two pieces at four inches, and one piece at 21 and a half. All right, so next up we're gonna go ahead and get this one by eight ripped down. So our 21 and a half piece, so the middle size one will be ripped down to six and a half. The 21 and three eighths piece, so the shortest of the pieces will be ripped down to six and three quarter. And the longest piece will be ripped down to four and a half. All right, so now we got everything cut, and the next thing that I'm gonna do, uh, this is optional, but I'm going to take my uh, router here, and I just have these 45 degree chamfer bits, and I'll be using the, the third biggest one to put a 45 degree chamfer on the two by fours, and then I'll be using the smallest one to put some on the one by, and I'll just be doing the faces, so, I'll be doing the faces of these two 2x4s, I'll be doing the open face of this 2x4, and then I'll be doing this piece that we ripped down the skinniest. I'll be doing one edge and then the two side edges. And then the piece that we cut to 21 and 3 8 uh, that piece will be for the face, and I'll just be doing the edges of the face. So we don't have too much to do, and like I said, this is obviously optional. Um, you don't have to do this, and it will still look great. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges. All right, and then one more thing that we're gonna do before we start nailing this thing together is on our 21 and a half inch piece, I'm gonna go ahead and set my table saw so that my guide is three quarter inches from the blade. And then I'm gonna set my blade depth to about a quarter inch. And then I'm just gonna run it through so that we have a groove on the board that is three quarter inches uh, from one of the edges. And then it's a quarter inch deep. All right, so you'll end up with something with uh, something kind of like that. You just have a little notch that's three quarter inches from the top. And then my blade was set to about a quarter inch. All right, so next up we're gonna start getting this thing put together. So I got my back piece, so the 21 and a half inch piece, and then my groove that I cut through is right here. And then I got my two five and three quarter inch pieces, and I'll be nailing these from the back so that they just line up with the top, with the groove right here. So I'll just flip it over, get those nailed in. I got a 18 gauge brad nailer with inch and a half nails in it. All right, so we got those nailed in. Then I'm gonna take the 21 and a half inch piece one by two, and I'm just gonna line this up with the bottom and nail this in also. All right, so we got those nailed in. Next up, I'm gonna take our two four inch pieces and I'm just going to just line them up in the two corners. And then I'm gonna take my face frame. So that's this little bit shorter piece that we cut. And what I'm gonna do is just line it up so that so that it's flush with the top. And then we're gonna wanna center it in there. We should have just like a 16th inch gap on either side, but we just wanna make sure that it's lined up nice and straight. And then I'm gonna mark out where these one by two pieces will go. And I'll just leave a little bit of room. I'll just leave a little bit, a little bit of a gap right there just so that uh, we're not too tight. And then now we're gonna take our brackets. So I just have these uh, surface mount hidden spring hinge brackets. They look like this and they open like that. 
And we're actually gonna put these on before we nail our one buys so that it'll be easier to line them up. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna flip it this way so that my markings are on this side. And then I'm gonna take our one by pieces and I will line them up on those marks. And then we're gonna put them on so that the short end is on the one by two, and then the longer end is on the face. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that the face overlaps the one by, and we're just gonna just center these on there, center them between our length of one by. And these things, they have these bigger holes. Two of the holes are bigger, so you wanna make sure you screw. We're just gonna put the screws into the bigger hole so that we have some room for adjustment. So I'm just gonna get those marked out. And then I'm just using the, the one by two kind of as a spacer to make sure when I tighten it up, it lines up good. All right, and then we can kind of test it, make sure that it lines up good. And then now we can do the same for the other side. All right, so now we got those on, and then now we can take this and take our box that we made. And then the reason we made that groove was because these overhang just a little bit. So now that overhang can fit inside the groove. And then now we can just line it up and we just wanna make sure that when we line it up, it lines up on the sides too. You wanna make sure that it's not overhanging on one side because this is where it has to line up good enough to fit back down between the two sides. So you're just gonna wanna line it up as best you can. And then we're gonna wanna nail in these one by twos where it's lined up. And then if it's a little bit off, we can still use our screws to adjust it slightly. Now we can make sure that this works properly. So as you can see, it lines up flush, and then with these hinges, it just kicks it out. So it's kind of cool. So now we can open this, and then we can take our two side pieces, our two side two by fours, and now we're gonna line these up so that they're flush with the top, and then we're gonna use this one by two to nail it through on the inside. So just wanna make sure that's lined up up top and make sure it's um, everything is flat down to the table. And then we'll do the same with this other side. All right, so we got the sides nailed on and it closes, but it is a little bit tight. So I'm just gonna adjust the screws. And as you can see, these one by twos are still a little bit flimsy but once we get the top on, we'll be able to nail those into the top and that will secure that up. So I'm just gonna loosen these and we'll see if we can go ahead and get it so that it lines up a little bit better. All right, so I'm actually going to put the top on next before I mess around with those too much more just so that we can stiffen up those one by two pieces. All right, so for the top, we're just gonna go ahead and center it, and then we'll just nail it uh, into the two by fours, and then along the back, and then we can nail it up from those one by two pieces. All right, so now that that top is a little bit more secure, <clears throat> now we can go ahead and do a little bit more uh, messing around with these brackets to see if we can get it uh, so that it's kind of evened up around the edges. It's pretty close, it opens and closes, but there's like a gap along the top and stuff that I'm gonna try and get rid of. All right, so as you can see, I got a pretty consistent gap around the sides. And then it opens up nicely and closes. I think I'll actually add some screws going from the bottom here into that top piece just because uh, since these will be getting 
a little bit of stress put on them. I think the screws will just help to secure it up a little bit better than just the nails. And then once you got that all lined up, we can also put the rest of our screws in the hinges. All right, and then the last thing that we'll have to do is get our two by four wedged in down here. And I'm just gonna line it up flush with the bottom of each of these. And then to secure this in place, I'll just be using these longer uh, two and a half inch construction screws uh, just to give that, make sure that that thing's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. And then I got some wood filler that I'll just go ahead and fill those holes so that you don't see them. Uh, if you wanna use a nailer for it, you're free to use a nailer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the screws. So I'll get this thing put in and then I'll go ahead, uh, get the rest of these screws up top put in. All right, so I went ahead and gave those some time to dry. Now I'm gonna get them sanded down and we will be ready to spray. And then once I got those sanded down, I'll just be spraying it with some black semi-gloss. And I just think the black will just help to hide uh, any of the gaps or anything so that it doesn't look suspicious. And then I have this uh, welcome lettering. I got this from uh, Hobby Lobby, it was $4. And it was a little, it was actually twice as thick, but using my knife, I just, kind of split it down the middle and pried it apart so that it's not quite as wide because I want it to be centered on here and when I open it, it touches this top right here. So the thicker it is, the less it can open, but with it cut in half like that, it can open enough. And then if you do have something that's thicker, you will just have to have it low enough so that it can clear when it opens, but then it looks a little bit goofy. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one white and then I will spray the rest of it black once I get my uh, filler sanded down. And I'll just be spraying all of the exposed areas. All right, so as you can see, we got it all painted. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get my magnet put in. So in order to secure the gun inside here, I got one of these keeper magnets. Uh, you can just order these on Amazon. And in case you don't know what it is, it's just a magnet, and then it's just got like this plastic kind of rubberized plate so that it's not metal on metal. And this thing just fits right up at the top here. So it fits right in there, nice and snug. And I just got a few uh, few screws with it. So I'll just go ahead and screw it right into the top. All right, so we got that put in there. And I can go ahead and show you real quick how that works. All right, so the way this thing works is you have your gun and it just clicks in there just like that and then Obviously, you can pull it out, and then it also gives it enough room to shut. So this is where you might have to do a little bit of customizing. Uh, so obviously, this is a Glock 19, and we got a little bit of we got a little bit of room on the bottom, maybe about a half inch. So depending on how tall and wide your gun is, you may have to make this back slightly bigger, bring it down a little bit more, and then you would also then have to bring this face frame down a little bit more, and then also the uh, the depth. So I tried to make it as small as possible just because I feel like that would give it the best chance of blending in and just looking more like a sign. Uh, you know, just not something that would look like a concealment piece. So ideally, the smaller the better. Uh, this inside here is five and three quarter inches, and then obviously it's an inch and a half deep, so definitely worth checking before you build it, and then uh, and then if your gun does not fit in it, so. All right, and then to get this thing finished up, I got my welcome here, all painted white, and I'm gonna be using this clear Gorilla Glue. I'll just go ahead and out nice and evenly onto the back, and then I'll just go ahead and measure up uh, two inches and then put a piece of tape across the bottom and then just line the bottom of the words under that and then uh, once I get some glue and set it on there I'll just put some weight on it to weigh it down and then for the bottom down here 
I got my coat slash hat hangers. Uh, these are just from Home Depot. And then I'll put my screw holes an inch and a quarter from the top so that is where I'll mark it. And then I'll go ahead and do these two side ones an inch and a half off of uh, the inside of where these two two by fours meet or three inches from the outside edge. And then I'll just center this one in the middle. So let's go ahead and get this thing finished up. All right, so I went ahead and gave that some time to dry and it's on there nice and solid. So the last thing that we have to do is just go ahead and get it installed on the wall. And what I'm gonna do is just screw it uh, right through this back plate into studs. And as long as your studs are 16 inches on center, depending on uh, where exactly you want it on the wall, you should be able to get it into two studs. Otherwise, uh, you'll just be able to get it into one. And if you can only get it into one, make sure you put two screws up and down. But ideally, uh, you would get it into two of the studs. Alright, so that is pretty much it all finished up. I'm actually pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. Uh, just because it doesn't look like something that would have a gun in it. So I think the concealment part of it turned out pretty well. And obviously you can do whatever you want to personalize it for yourself. Put different hooks on it. Put a different welcome sign. Paint it a different color. You could put foam in here, but I think the magnet is just easy and simple. And it works very well and it makes sure that it won't fall out of there. You know, it locks in there good. It's not going anywhere. It's still easily and quickly removable. Uh, I'd love to hear any advice or tips on how I could make this thing better or things that I could do differently. And I'd also love to hear if you guys have any other concealment uh, video ideas. Uh, these things are super cool to build just because they're functional uh, and they look cool. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations for that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I wanna thank everybody for watching and I hope you guys all have a great day.